I'm Declassified. I'm Wasting Sanity. I'm here to share with you what I think of the Bureau. Um, it is Mass Effect meets XCOM meets Stargate Atlantis meets Ghostbusters. So the, the dialogue is a bit out of sequence. So we're, we're going to start with the dialogue and the storyline. The storyline, um, it was, it was alright. I don't want to go into too much into details, but it, it really wasn't what I expected. But the, as far as the dialogue goes, if the conversations were actually numbered, one moment you are on conversation 25, and then you run a few missions, maybe two, three, even the side missions, and next thing you know, you are on conversation number 50. But, wait, what? At, they reference other conversations that you didn't have with people, as if you should know, and, and your character does know. Oh yes, he does know what the conversations were, and that really doesn't make any sense. Um, in this case, I'm completely for them pushing us through a dialogue kind of thing. They try to make it like Mass Effect with the dialogue bars and everything, but they kind of screwed up when it came to the choices um, uh, or the dialogue connecting to each other because I didn't have conversations that they're referencing, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, but overall, like I said, the storyline, it was alright, um, but it wasn't what I expected, and so I'm kind of iffy towards it. I was hoping for more enrichment on the XCOM universe itself, but it didn't end up that way, um, to where it was going to enrich the UFO, um, defense, the classic XCOM, or was going to enrich the, the recent one, which is the XCOM Enemy Unknown. Didn't actually do that. Um, it felt like the tech tree was more advanced than it should have been because of the, the tech that was being used and XCOM Enemy Unknown was a bit weaker, I think, compared to what they're showing here in this game. Uh, that's because they referenced a lot of Mass Effect uh, technology, in a sense, by doing lifts and things like that. Uh, the AI companion is perfectly imperfect. It is like your first car. Sometimes it runs just fine, and the next thing you know, Everything is going wrong. For example, one moment they're perfectly dodging grenades while in cover and returning to that cover or cover in the vicinity or falling back just a little bit within reason. The next thing you know, the AI is charging the enemy blatantly in the open and getting shot down. They're completely out of position to where you told them to be and where they should be staying and it makes no sense. Other times, I would take and tell the AI to come with me, or actually no, I would station the AI at one point, and I would move forward, and next, and I turn around, and the AI followed me, the, 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 the companions. They followed me all the way over here when I was trying to flank. How am I supposed to flank when they're following me so the enemies are all following all of us? Um, and then other times, I was literally across the entire map, and the, the, I turn around, and my, my companions are like way over there. I was like, what? So... Sometimes it worked perfectly, and sometimes it, it just didn't work well. There's no real research in this game. You pick up an alien weapon and you automatically research it. It's just a pick-up-and-go kind of game. What happened to hack, hacking the alien machines to turn them into... or turn them against their masters? Um, I, I could have swore I saw a video where you were hacking the turrets and hacking that big round, whatever, the obelisk thing and you used it against uh, the aliens. I... Did I skip that? What happened? I, I don't know. It just... It wasn't there. Uh, what happened to the alien creature that throws a person partially through a wall before making them solid? Um... I didn't see that. I saw that in the... I think the trailer for the, the Steam game. And I had the Steam game. But it wasn't there. This was the game... I really wanted as far as those aspects of hacking into uh, the alien machinery and turning it against the people and stuff like that. That really lured me towards the game and that's what made me want the game. Um, unfortunately they didn't have that in the game so I don't know maybe I just missed that version of it and they just never brought it out. They probably pulled it didn't have enough time to put it in and I don't know but it really isn't bad. The, the, the game itself is not bad. Um, but it's not as bad as some are making it out to be. Um, the, unfortunately, the download content that was included with the game was sad. 
It was 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Are you serious? Really? If they add that later on and, and try to charge people for that, that's a joke. Um, so, the overall rating, what I would give this game, is a shaky 7. Not a solid 7, a shaky 7. It barely gets there because of the fact that I'm willing to revisit it, try to find stuff um, that I might have overlooked just to see if I can find it, and if I get bored during the process, I'll stop playing it. That's basically kind of where I'm at with the game. Um, it was entertaining the first playthrough, but there's a lot of problems with it, and if they would have flushed out a little bit more, it would have been a, more of a solid 7. Um, combat is not as bad as I was making it sound to be, but, you know, it's kind of back and forth kind of issue. Um, I didn't have too many problems with it, you'll just hear in there. Now, if you don't want to get any spoilers, if you don't want to hear any spoilers, uh, you might want to cover your ears and say la 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 or whatever, um, because I'm going to give you guys a spoiler here. Now, the only plus, like the extremely plus side of this game is you actually get to play a tentacle rape monster right there. Only for a moment though, just for a moment, you get to play a tentacle rape monster and you get to violate the main character. So as you see here, we're prepping him for some loving here. I'm not taking any more orders. Not from you. Aww. Not from anyone. Don't talk like that, baby. No. no, no, no. You, you know you want it. Something tells me it's only a matter of time before you stick me back in the bottle. Well, I've got another idea. I oh. know you bastards can survive in this goop, so I'll make you a deal. But you like Get the out of my head. Now. Or I'll blow us all to kingdom come. I'd rather kill us all than be your puppet one second longer. Wonder if you feel the same way. But what well, about I guess time? we're about to find out. Cuddle time. So, there you have it. XCOM, or the, the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. It's a fun game. It's entertaining. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting to be. It's more of a, like, it's heavier than the dialogue than I thought it was going to be. And I think, in partial, that's what kind of wasn't good for it. Um, oh, also, there was some... Uh, I forgot to mention. There was some uh, Bioshock 2 in there. Say so. goodnight, Gracie. 